on, look at the inside. How is that inside bowl? John, the party is swinging. Just the thing he needs to pep him up. The stage is set, the principal players are in position, the curtain is up. John John Florence may look like your average kid, but don't be fooled. He grew up on the North Shore of Oahu, rode his first waves on the nose of his mother's board when he was a toddler, spent the majority of kindergarten learning how to launch airs and was charging pipeline by the time he was eight. Now 15, John John Florence is a household name in the surfing world, complete with contest results, cover shots, and groupies. Here he is on a family trip to Jeffreys Bay, South Africa, a glimpse into his future. The level amongst the kids is unprecedented, and so is the amount of money they're making. Would you believe that some of these kids are already bringing in six-figure incomes? But there's much more to it than that. Every snap, floater, and tail slide is part of a master plan to make the dream tour. Once upon a time, pro contests were held at bad beach breaks with big parking lots. Today, the WCT tour is all about scoring epic waves. Considering now pro surfers are signing six-figure contracts, it's no wonder the rivalry start early. But unfortunately, amongst the thousands of ambitious kids worldwide, only a handful will make it. This year's event is John John Florence, and this is John John Florence from the USA, who won it today, receiving his support from Michael Filippo and Andy Irons. We're going to call John John over to say a few words. He's got more boards than Andy Irons, all right. Yeah, the Bonobong Pro, who's your pick to, uh, to win the event? I don't know. We all serve really good. What about you? I don't know. One of these years, maybe. Maybe one of these years. All right, let's give it up there for John John Florence, the winner of the Blue Bond International Junior Showdown. To give it up for all the fans. And let's give it up for the seniors who have all those good players here today. Yeah, he's, he's a little freak. He's um, sort of a freak of nature. I remember seeing him surf uh, gums, like all through Aokai on a day. It was like, I don't know, eight, ten foot north swell. It was about six foot of gums on the set. He was like seven years old. <laughs> no way in hell I'd be out there at seven years old. But, you know, that's just, I think, a, a sign of things to come with him. You know, but he's just, he's a water baby. Just born and bred on the beach. And, you know, it's pretty tough not to have that ingrained in you when your mom goes out and takes you surfing every single day of your life. And your brother's out there with you. And, you know, it's just, it's the life aquatic. Can I then talk? Wait, talk. Stop, Ivan. Are you freaking kidding me, Ivan? Who just did that? He just put a hole in this board. Mm -hmm. I am a board now. You didn't put a hole in my board. This is your board. You dumbass, Ivan. You did that, John. Stop swinging around. I'm not. You are, John. Oh, just did Gosh, I wasn't, I hate it when you're not ready to touch the water. It's just like, I, feel, I just feel like I'm in shorts or something. Alex Florence, AKA Mom John, was 15 when she moved to the North Shore of Oahu. She showed up with a skateboard, a backpack, and a stack of punk rock albums. She surfed and gave birth to three magnificent sons. After the contest, the Florences hung out an extra week and ran wild in J-Bay. That's it, I'm going. One, two, three, go! It's a new song.
Right, 